The managers of three hostels cited for discharging feces into open drains at Ayodhya's new site in Kumasi have been fined a total of 9,000 CDs by Asokori Mampon District Court. Afrani, Saab and Caesars Palace hostels have also been given up to 30 days to abate the nuisance and build proper waste systems or risk being closed down. They pleaded guilty to the charges of connecting waste pipes into public drains without lawful authority. Hey, but look, all the toilet and all that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So this is effluence coming from... Yeah, this is the toilet. This one mm. is from here. Mm. And this one is from here. And if you come here... Come and see. Does it you can put toilet on somebody's pro. And I live here. Look at that. Landlords at Chumdiasi suburb have been battling caretakers of these hostels for years for directing raw feces and waste water into the open. Not even arrest of caretaker of Caesar's Palace and subsequent notice by the Oforikum Environmental Office could move them to listen to the complainants. The three caretakers came before the Asokori Mampon District Court on Thursday. Francis Ade of Afrani Hostel, Caesar's Palace Retakwatin, and Godwin Agwe of Saab Hostel all pleaded guilty with explanation. Judge Portia Moli Anafo Salia Mrs. described their explanations as untenable and convicted them on their own plea. They were sentenced to 250 and 100 penalty units on their respective counts of connecting waste pipe into public drain without permit and connecting effluent into public drain. In delivering judgment, the uh, judge indicated that they are first offenders. She also directed that they have 30 days to construct proper septic tanks and soak aways to soak their wastewater. And that will be supervised by the uh, Oforikro Municipal Assembly to ensure that they are up to standard. If after 30 days they do not conform, she will order for the closure of all three hostels. Uh, let me speak with some of the landlords. And today they came up in their numbers uh, to uh, come to the court and tell the court how bad they feel about the uh, discharge. Let me speak with uh, the gentleman here. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Daniel Asamani. Mm. Today uh, you saw what happened in court. Is that what you wish for? Are you happy with the verdict? We are very, very happy about the verdict of the court. Because today, justice has been perfectly been delivered. Because for the past 15 years and more, we have been struggling with these wholesale people about this particular nuisance of effluent being discharged into the natural environment. Mm -hmm. And we are very grateful for all the key players in this uh, struggle. Uh, Love FM, uh, the landlords, the residents in the area, the court, and everybody. I think we're very glad with what is uh, happening now um, because we've been struggling with them for some time now. And then at the point, I think I have some issue with those people, and then we have to even resort it by going to the police station. But today, justice has been delivered, and I think it's fine. We are all. Al Hassan Bukhari is the prosecutor. Oh, removing that amount of money is not small. So they will go and do it. Others who hear it at the, within the community, they will also follow suit. Mm. They will do theirs too. There are many of them who are doing those things there. Mm. We'll fix the dates and times of inspection. That will get there. At least in a week, we should be there once again every week. We check out to see. If it's getting to the 30 days, getting to the end, we'll double out getting the, the days we'll go there. Make sure the right thing is done at the right time. If they fail, well, we'll come back to court.